What's up people of the internet, it's Shocky here, bringing you a quick little commentary, I don't know how long this is going to be, I don't have any gameplay set over this, I'm just talking, and however long this goes is however long it goes. Um, I just want to say my opinions about the new consoles, because both have been, I guess, revealed so far, and I can actually make a kind of not so biased opinion on it, and it's this is going to come down to simple, simple things. That I'm sure you guys know and I'm sure is impacting your decisions as well as to what you're gonna get first off the Xbox from what I learned the controller doesn't look much different and neither does the PS3 one the PS3 one has the concave sticks now instead of convex I'm pretty sure it has the same ones that the old Xbox had the new one does too it's the PS4 I think I said the PS4 yeah PS4 and the Xbox one are the new consoles they both have the same kind of sticks and the same kind of um, button layout on the controller overall. Like buttons are in the same spots except the PS4 has a new share button and it does have a new little pad above the controller for like motion stuff like kind of like a touch pad I guess. And the Xbox controller just I, I haven't really watched too much about it so I'm not too well informed about it. If there's anything new with it, I haven't really seen anything about it, like nothing spectacular. But basically, it, it doesn't really balance down the controllers because I always am going to enjoy the DualShock controllers, the PS, the PlayStation ones overall. I'm going to enjoy those controllers better regardless. But <clears throat> systems are almost identical with hardware. PS4 might have a slight advantage just because I think the RAM is better something it might have more ram i'm not exactly sure but i i can't remember it off the top of my head but it's slightly v it but it's minuscule like the difference the difference in hardware is very minuscule but overall it comes down to software and like not really hardware it comes down to how the thing plays and from what i'm looking at it like the xbox one has one thing that just pisses me off more than anything you are not allowed to play used games on it. Anything that has already been played on any other Xbox Live account or however they're doing it, like let's just say it's like Xbox Live, like how it is now, like you go over to your friend's house and you want to play a game on his Xbox, but you want to use your account. You can't do that now. With the new Xbox, you're going to have to rebuy the game and you're going to have to have that key. So now there's no, like, going over your friend's house and trying the game out and then coming home and being like, you know what, that was a fun game, I'm going to buy it. Now, you kind of have to buy it, or well, you just don't get to play it. It's, it's really stupid how they're doing that. And it's basically making me just not even want to get the system because there's a lot of games that, I, and this is a thing that I'm sure a lot of people do, like, you might get, like, a single-player game, and then you give it to your friends and they play it. And then another single player game will come out and then they'll get it. And then they'll give it to you. And you kind of have like three or four people that you guys almost like take turns with buying the single player game. Or you all pitch in or something like that. Because a $60 single player game is a lot. And if you kind of like split it up. It, or like take turns or whatever. Because there's been games that I've just let people borrow. Like I let my friend Kyle play Far Cry before at my house. And he ended up buying it. Went home. He pretty much did everything possible in that game. With the new Xbox, he wouldn't be able to do that. He wouldn't be able to try the game out, see how cool and immersive the game was. It was really, really a great game. And I really loved it. I told him, dude, you should try this out. He came over to my house. He played it a little. He was like, this game is awesome. I, I'm going to go buy this. Yeah, I think he'd already, he played the entire game while he was at my house. Beat the entire game. Then went and bought it. And beat it again and did everything possible in the game. Except for maybe... I don't know if he got all the relics in it. For those of you that play it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but... The Xbox One just... There's some things like they, they're they not going to be able to play used games, obviously. You're going to have to rebuy re games if you want to play them yourself. There's probably other things that I've j I just haven't really looked into that much. And the I haven't I don't know if it can record like the PS4 can. 
not entirely sure. I haven't looked into the Xbox One too much, but that one feature, or it's basically like a DRM thing. It's kind of, it's kind of stupid. It's really, really stupid. And you apparently you need a Connect to be able to use it. Like if your Connect isn't working, you can't play with it. I heard that on a couple videos that I watched about it, and. <laughs> Jeez, that's, that's dumb. If it doesn't come with a Kinect, you're wasting money because it's another $100. I'm sure it will, or that it has it built into it, but if it it doesn't come with a Kinect, is it like in the smallest bundle? I don't even know what the, what are you buying. <laughs> you still have to pay for it. But PS4, I the ex exclusives aren't really that big of a deal to me because I don't really buy every game that comes out. And eventually I'm going to get both consoles. That, that's a given. I'm going to get both of them at some point. But I want to have a priority to which one I'm going to get first. And I like the controller better on the PS4. I can try out games that my friends buy. And let them try the games out. And you're going to probably be able to do party chat. Which was the main difference between PS3 and Xbox 360. For the online features. There's a couple different things like the dashboard. Maybe some different apps. But... If you have a good computer or even a decent one, you can do most of those like things on your computer. And if you really want to, you could set it up to your TV if you want the big monitor. But overall, I think the PS4 is going to be my priority. And yeah, that's just how it's going to be. Quick little note, um, I want to quickly say something about what Nintendo has been doing as of recent. For those of you that don't know, Nintendo decided that they're going to start claiming videos that and use their games overall which means that let's play channels or people that just want to play like a couple games of theirs anyone whose channel uses like any nintendo game as of recent is obviously going to be able to get taken like not their channel but like those videos at any money that they get from them is going to be taken by nintendo and for any like channel that runs like on old games they might be and Nintendo called it like, I'm trying to think, they called it not like crowd control, but they called it quality control, which means that they might end up striking those channels and taking down those videos if they don't like it. And if they start doing that, that it's, it's such a dumb move for them because the YouTube community provides people with free advertising. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Who's bought in several games on YouTube or several games because of watching YouTube videos? If I was to look at my Steam library right now, almost everything in there is because of YouTube videos. Almost everything. Call of Duty was because of friends and YouTube. Minecraft was the same thing. Minecraft. Just think of where Minecraft would be without YouTube. It would not have its own event every year that people go to from around the world. It would not be the second best selling game of all time behind Call of Duty. And Call of Duty still wouldn't be where it is. It might be huge, but the idea of trying to compete and, like, show off your skills or something cool that you did has driven, like, Call of Duty to still be number one. Because people complain about that game more than any other game, but people still play it because they want to make YouTube videos of it. They want to make their montages. They want to do this, this, and this. If Activision decided, hey, we want all the revenue from this. Oh, you know how many COD channels would boycott, like, Activision games? That's what's going to happen with Nintendo. No one's going to be posting their games because they're basically flipping off all the Let's Players. Anyone who posts, like, top five plays of certain, like, Nintendo games. Like, the new um, Super Smash Brothers, like, that's going to come out soon for the Wii U. And it's basically the only reason why, like, a Wii U is even worth getting at this point. And maybe a new, like, WarioWare game if they come out with, that, if they come out with one. But... My brother, my little brother has one just because he likes Nintendo games. Like, I'm pretty sure Lego City Undercover or whatever was a Nintendo exclusive. And he got that and he loved that thing to death. And he likes the Skylanders for it. So, yeah, those are the reasons why he has that. And honestly, like, otherwise I would never have bought a Wii U myself. I didn't buy it for him. My mom did. But I would have no interest in the Wii U. It's... I mean, it barely has better hardware than the current gen of consoles, so Nintendo's playing catch-up, and this is apparently the last console they're producing, and I understand they're trying to be innovative, 
with this new controller and whatnot. But unless the other companies are doing it, they're just kind of putting themselves in the hole. Like, it kind of just says, hey, we just made this new system that's insanely hard for you to make games for. And, like, our original console, the Wii, is outselling this new one still. It still is outselling this one. So, could you make us some games? And EA just flat out dropped out. They said, we're not making any more games for the Wii U because it's not worth it. The amount of the hassle that it is to develop the games for it is just too much for them to even want to. Like, they're not making up sales on it for it to be worth it. And think about how bad it, like, people complained about, or developers complained about the PS3 being hard to develop for. Um, it still got the sales, which made it um, more logical for them to do it. And it probably wasn't as hard as the Wii U, considering there's an entire another screen. But, like, a lot of Let's Play channels that I watch, including Chilled Chaos, or Curious Gamers is YouTube, but, like, Diction, a lot of the Chronocast people, um, I'm sure, like, at least them, and I'm sure a lot of other Let's Players, probably the Creatures, too, like, and there's some channels that are dedicated just to Nintendo games, and I feel so bad for them, especially if it's like they're living and not just a hobby. Like, those channels, I feel so bad for them, and Nintendo really just screwed themselves over because the free advertising that they're getting on YouTube is going to be gone. No one's going to want to do anything for them. <laughs> and I don't even know. Like, they, they just kind of just flipped off the entire YouTube community, and... No one really likes that, and they're going to get a lot, a lot of hate for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this longish commentary. I thought it would be a little shorter, but I don't know what the gameplay is. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay on this video, or multiple gameplays if I used COD. This is a little long, but I'll see you guys next time. I need to record some other games because I know I haven't been uploading much. It's just because I've been playing a lot, a lot of Smite, and I just having a lot of fun with that, so... I haven't really been doing that much other than that. I can't really stream it that much because my internet's a little unreliable still. Even though my speeds are really good. But I hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye-bye.